there's no part of you that is expecting something to be in a phone booth. So you just have this natural like New York City block filter that makes you walk down the street and be like, I will not look at any phone booths, like I will not look at any bus stops, you know, I'm not gonna look at trash cans or street lights, I'm just gonna keep walking, I've got somewhere to go in a big hurry, and you just totally miss it. Now? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is John Locke. Um, I'm an architectural designer here in New York, and I also work on spontaneous interventions, community projects, and self-initiated projects of the sort. Mr. Locke didn't think the unused payphones on the Upper West Side were doing anyone much good. So we decided to start using them as bookshelves. This particular model of phone booth, the tight end booth, it provides kind of almost like a natural uh, spot to attach something to. No fasteners required, no screws, no bolts, no, any, no nothing. Basically, you just need uh, the shelves and books, uh, and that's it. So typically, you know, on a Sunday morning when it's not a lot of people out, when there aren't a lot of people out, um, you can just go down, uh, find a good booth, carry it out, latch it in, uh, it takes you know, seconds, and then just fill it up with books and let's wait and see what happens. Mr. Locke has installed four of these shelves. The first one was gone within a few days. Another one lasted about a month, and some people actually began putting their own books up on it. Mr. Locke likes to lurk nearby, just checking out people's reactions. He says a few people take books, and some more stop to stare, but for the most part, People just walk by without a second glance. I don't know, maybe as, as if this becomes more widespread or more people know about this, it might be something that you stop and you start, you know, you see a phone booth and you're like, maybe there's something in there. I think that would be really cool if there were bookshelves in every phone booth, but I don't know if it, if it is something that's so ubiquitous like that, if it would still have the same power, or if it's something that you kind of stumble upon and you find. You gotta be pretty optimistic to think that phone booths can be transformed into little oases of literacy and community cooperation. On this particular morning, the library lasted about four hours. Then a group of men showed up with plastic bags. A few minutes later, Mr. Locke's shelf was empty. But that afternoon he came back, carrying a fresh box of books. Books for them. Yeah, they're like sweet. This guy is so dumb. Just with people. 